Hello, 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 and welcome to the Southern Belle NOLA channel. I'm your hostess, Southern Belle, and it is such a privilege to be able to broadcast to you and to have y'all here making time for me and watching after all time is the most precious thing that we have such a great gift so i love tuning in and seeing that y'all are already in the chat hopefully y'all got a chance to watch my premiere video today now i know it was supposed to be at 9 30. unfortunately there was a technical glitch and it accidentally went off at midnight. Midnight is the default time for any and all YouTube uploads. And um, when it went off at midnight, even I missed most of it until Lisa um, called me and said, oh, no, something went wrong. It's on. So um, once it, it went off at the wrong time, I stopped it and re-uploaded it. And then um, it premiered at 3 o'clock this afternoon. So if you are looking for keychains and you missed the premiere, many are still available. And let me go ahead and start saying hi to some people in the chat. I see we have my moderator, Lisa M. Adventure, who's going to be um, describing the products, telling the starting bid, confirming the bids, making the list and checking it twice and running the chat for me. I see we have Carla. Hi, Carla. And hi, Mike, if you're watching with Carla. I see we have Jen. Hello, Jen. Mary Martinez. Yay. You finally caught one of my lives. I'm so thrilled to have you here. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It just shows that you can pay it forward. Um, I mod for my friend Shannon, and sometimes people will follow me from her channel, just like Lisa mods for me. And sometimes people will follow Lisa with her fun family adventures, showing her lovely husband and her sweet two-and-a-half-year-old baby well, toddler. So I love that uh, the world works that way. We have Crochet Queen Kathy. Hello, hello. Okay, well, let me make a few announcements. Tomorrow at noon, we are going to have another premiere. And if you're not familiar how a premiere works, um, it's a recorded video, but you get to chat and buy things live. And in tomorrow's premiere at noon Central Standard Time, everything is one dollar everything. And it goes so much quicker because you don't have to wait while bids are confirmed. You don't have to wait for the going, going, gone. You just see it, claim it, buy it, and it is yours. So oop, oop be doo um, I love how quickly it works. And also with Sunday being the day off for all of my mods, it's me in the chat modding for myself because on a recorded video, I can mod for myself. Yes, Mary, I absolutely remember you from Shannon's channel. She may have 80 some odd thousand um, subscribers, but I do remember the people in the chat, especially when they tell me that they're going to subscribe and especially when they're nice enough to leave me a comment. So I absolutely remember you and remember the comment that you had left when you subscribed to me. So thank you so much for that. Okay, so the first announcement is about the premiere tomorrow at noon where everything is $1. Buy it now. Then on Monday at 7 p.m., we've got another Bargains by Bell. Tuesday at 7 p.m., another Bargains by Bell. Wednesday and Thursday are my packing, weighing, calculating the shipping, and invoicing days. And then we start the whole week again on a Friday. So that is my week here at the Southern Bell NOLA channel. So for anybody who is watching, who is new, or a lot of y'all watch the replay, let me tell you how this is going to work. Hi, Jennifer Chesney. 
So the registration link is pinned to the top of the chat. The registration link is just so I know if you were to bid where to send your invoice and where to send the items you win. So once you've filled that out, you can bid in numbers in the chat. I do ask that you bid in numbers. That way we know that you are bidding rather than talking about the product. But everybody is welcome. Even if you're not bidding or buying, stay, hang out, chat. So super fun just to have everybody here and be social. I know y'all could watch HSN or QVC, but one of the fun parts about YouTube auctions, in addition to the bargain prices, um, is that you get to talk and make friends and get to know people. I love to know why you bought this particular scent or what you're going to do with that or who you're going to give it to or how you're going to use it for Easter or spring or this party you're throwing. I love when y'all tell me stories about the items or what you're going to do with what you bought. That just thrills my soul. It does. It does. Okay, so let me tell you about shipping and payment. Um, I take many forms of payment. My preferred method of payment is Zelle. Why Zelle? Well, Zelle has absolutely no fees and it's guaranteed by the banking system. Always nice to be able to walk into your bank and actually talk to a real person at a brick and mortar location if you have questions. But I absolutely take PayPal as well. PayPal is the software by which I make your invoices. PayPal is it's also how I can let you pay with your debit card, your credit card, um, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, bank cards, Venmo. That way I never see your numbers, never see your privacy information. Um, it's just a cyber transfer from them to me. And PayPal is the one that does that cyber transfer. It's just a way that I can accept all those credit and bank cards. The method of shipping that I use is called Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship is a discounted shipping service that works with both UPS and USPS, also known as the post office. And that's how I get your packages um, down to the lowest rates. They calculate based on three criteria. The distance from your zip code to mine. I'm shipping from a suburb of New Orleans, Louisiana based on the weight of the package and the dimensions of the package. The bidding increments will be a low $1 bidding increment. And um, we start the first of the auction with a fun little round I call Bell's Bargain Bonanza. And during Bell's Bargain Bonanza, we plummet the starting bid to just $1. And we plummet the bidding increments for this one little round to just 50 cents. And we have this to start out the auction to reward the early birds and the people who come as soon as the notifications go out. Then um, we try to have one at the beginning of each hour. And anytime you want another Bell's Bargain Bonanza, all you have to do is put the three letters B, B, B in the chat. And the next item, I'll start at a dollar. It's that simple. So anytime during the auction, you can ask for a $1 item. You can ask for a category you want, a price you want, a genre you want. Most of the time, I have something like that. If not, I'll bring it out at the next auction. Casey, so good to see you. Jesse, Jesse is one of the few people <laughs> who turned up at midnight when the video accidentally uploaded. So, and even though I took it down, re-uploaded it, and had a proper um, premiere at three, Jesse was one of the very few people who actually caught it at midnight, even though it was accidental. So, Jesse, I thank you so much. And um, the video has premiered again. I'm not sure what you wanted, but you can leave it in the comments, just like Crochet Queen Kathy left in the comments the items she wanted to buy. Um, Kathy, I'm not sure if you saw my message, but on the number seven, 17, I wasn't sure if you wanted drawer one, two, or three. 
you were the first person to message. So it absolutely goes to you. I just want to make sure I mail you the right one, honey. So um, when in doubt, if y'all are going back to watch the keychain video, when you're sending me the numbers, if you'd also tell me what it is, <laughs> that helps me. You know, like music note keychain or um, butterfly keychain um, dog keychain. That way I can keep up a little bit better because I had a little accident in that, um, I took a little, uh, tumble and the drawers kind of slid. And if you've ever been carrying a tray, um, you know that when things slide, sometimes they don't stay exactly with the number. So that helped me a lot when y'all can kind of write the description. Okay, well, I have just talked on and on and on. Hopefully, with all of our Southern hospitality, y'all are welcoming each other. So I say, laissez bon temps rouler, which is French for let the good times roll. Roll in your life, roll in your heart, roll in your soul. Roll on and on and on. So let's get started with Bell's Bargain Bonanza. All of these items are going to be $1 starting bid. And I'm starting out today with hand soap. And these aren't the big, huge, giant bottles. Sometimes y'all see me sell the big, huge, giant bottles. These are the smaller bottles, which is why they're the small price of $1. Crochet Queen Kathy is already in for a dollar. Jessie's in for two. Anybody want to go up to three? While y'all are bidding, let me show you what the choices are. In clear, this one is antibacterial. and it has this really design of a seahorse. The second one, also antibacterial, also clear, and it's another one of those little sea creatures. I forget what you call this one. Next, soft soap naturals. This one is um, milk and honey, and it's a moisturizing hand soap. So if you have dry hands that both need to be cleaned and moisturized at the same time, that's going to be the one you want. Soft Soap Naturals. This one is an aloe vera and it is soothing. And last but not least, this one is pine scented. So if you like scented soap, this one is pine scented. A puffer fish. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, some of these I have multiples of, and some of these are one and done. So when you win a bid, make sure you let me know how many you want of whichever one you choose. Okay, we are sold to Jessie. Let's see which one or one she picks. Everybody congratulate Jessie on the first win of the night. Okay, Jessie is going with both clear ones. Okay, I'm sold out of the clear. Okay, let me set those aside. Um, two white ones. Okay. Here's two of the white ones for Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, anybody else? I tell you what, I will show you what I've got left now that we have a little bit of room um, of this one that is moisturizing. I have two of this one that is soothing. I have just one. And of this one that is pine scented, I have three. That's what's left. Anybody else? 
And y'all don't forget to click that thumbs up. We've got 10 in the chat, so hopefully we've got at least 10 thumbs up by now. The thumbs up helps me ever so much in the YouTube algorithm to let people know you approve of my channel, approve of my content, and share me out. Uh, Jen, I see you saying me. What are you saying me about? Um, Lisa, help me out here. Okay, Jen's going for two pine. Okay, and uh, Jesse, I've only got one pine left, but I will sell you the one pine I have left. Ava, hello, hello. Welcome. You must be a new viewer. Okay, so the last pine is going to Jesse. So what I have left is one of the soft soap naturals that is soothing and it has aloe vera in it. Um, and then I've got this one, which is milk and honey scented, and it is moisturizing. So I've got two of that one and one of this one. That's all I got left. Anybody for the last few? I'll tell you. Yeah, I like this aloe vera one when I've been working out in the yard and my hands are dry from pulling, pulling, pulling weeds. And I like the milk and honey moisturizing in the winter when I have just dry skin that's like cracked and hurting. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Ava. I appreciate that. Everybody welcome, Ava. Okay, these are the last three. We will leave these for the people on the replay, or sometimes people will join the auction a little later and go back and say, can I have some of those that are left? Okay, so we'll clear these away and we'll get the actual auction started. That was a fun early bird round. Super fun. Okay. If y'all have any requests tonight, let me know what you'd like to see. Okay, let's start with some antique teddy bears. How about that? Okay, here, here's the first one. It is green and it has this jaunty little scarf to it. His name is Wallace. Super cutie. Next, I have this cute little tie teddy bear, and he's got a sweet little bow tie. Look at that. He must be ready to go to a formal occasion. These are going to be $5 for choice, and his name is Mr. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, next I have this cute little panda. Super cute. This panda's name is Fortune. Okay, next, here is, I'm thinking a polar bear. Is that correct? Polar bear? And his name is, or maybe her name, Aurora. Jen's in for five. Next, I have, oh, this one says July. Anybody like me have a July birthday? Oh, and look, there's a gemstone for the nose. Isn't that cutie? And he's got a little party hat on. And then last but not least, I believe that's the Mexican flag. And, you know, it won't be long till we have Cinco de Mayo. His name is Osito. Osito. Okay, Jen's in for five. Anybody want to go up to six? Sweet little teddy bears all have a red heart-shaped hang tag in their ear that says T-Y. Y'all don't forget to click that thumbs up. That helps me ever so much. 
And also, y'all let me know what you'd like to see tonight. Some of the things coming up tonight will be garden decor, interior decor. We'll have some rugs. We'll have some blankets, some socks. We'll have earrings, rings, necklaces. We'll have some pen sets. We'll have some um, large lotions and body washes. Oh, so glad you're relaxing. Okay, well, let's count this down then. And so glad everybody is here. If you haven't already shared out the live, share out the live with the share button on your YouTube community page, on your Instagram, your Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, and any other social media you have. Let's get a big crowd tonight. Okay, we are sold to Jen. Everybody congratulate Jen in the chat. And let's see which of these Jen picks. Some of these I have multiples of. I've got multiples of Wallace and I've got multiples of Fortune. The rest are one and done. Okay, she is going for the panda. And if you want more than one panda, let me know. She's going for the polar bear and she's going for July. So that's a good looking collection right there. Thank you, thank you. Okay, anybody else for Osito, Mr. Bear, or Wallace? Last call on these. Okay, we're going to pass on these then. And remember, if you want to bid and you've not filled out a registration, go ahead and fill that out. Okay, $10 starting bid. Let's do some wind chimes. Okay, here is the first one. It is this ombre metallic, and it's got a nice sturdy hanger here. And just look at this sweet little frog. He is a metal. And he has a sunflower in his stomach. How cute is that? And here's the actual wind chimes part. The little clanger is this pretty leaf. So I'm going to lay it here so it doesn't keep chiming. And $10. Super cute. It's going to be a um, gorgeous accent outside your house. It is going to reflect and shine in the light. And, and if you have a breeze, it is going to make a beautiful melody. So $10. And these take up so much room. I think rather than doing choice, I'm going to sell them one at a time. I'll try not to spend too long, but these tangle so easily. I'm scared if I put all three that I have up here that they're going to get tangled. So this is the frog. And I'll hold it up close again. And if not, we will pass on it. 
And just look at that sheen and shine on it. Okay, we will pass on it then. All right, let me show you the next one. Okay, if you're not into um, frogs, maybe you like butterflies. Still $10. This one has all, once again, has the same type of hanger, has three different flowers, this kind of copper colored pot, which once again is metal, and beautiful butterfly. And then once again, here are the actual chime part of it. So I'll lay it down here so you can see what it looks like. Oh, thanks for the cute emoji, Ava. That's sweet. I like that. Okay, any interest in this one for 10 bucks? And after this, there will be just be one more of these. Usually when I show choices, it is where you can look at all three, but I just don't want to get these tangled. Okay, any interest in this wind chime? Okay, we're going to pass on it, and these will be available in the replay. Okay, last but not at least if you like flowers and if you are a pink and purple person, look at this stunner. This has the darkest, brightest colors. This is the girliest girl one. Here's the hanger. And also, in addition to the colors, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's actually stones in here. Let me turn it to the back. Can you see how there's actually stones as well? So not just pretty colors, but there are stones in it. So I love that. And then here's the chime part. And then even in the clanger, there's this big marble to it. So $10. No, Lisa, if you're offering five, I'm sorry. I love you, but I have to hold this to 10. It is the absolute first showing of this. It is brand new. And even to a moderator, I can't take half price. I am so sorry. I hope you understand. So anybody for 10? Anybody? It is shiny and showy and gorgeous. This is the first showing that I've had. It's got these beautiful stones inside it. Okay, last call. Uh, the $5 show is on Friday. Friday is my $5 Friday. Friday. So tonight we'll have things of lots of different prices. But most of the time it's going to be over or under five. I tend to save the $5 stuff for Fridays. And this is so beautiful and so shiny. Okay. Last call on this. If y'all aren't interested in garden stuff, then I can skip the other stuff I have. Or if y'all want to see more, I will keep showing it. Okay, I'm going to start this next one at $8. And this one is big and tall. This is a trellis. Let me back, back, back my camera up. It is huge. So $8 starting bid. Here is my ruler. So you can see it is way bigger than my ruler. $8. Thank you, Maria, for making the list so that Lisa can type in the chat. I appreciate my moderators working together ever so nice. Okay, anybody for $8? I have three of these available. So maybe you need one on each side of your front door or each side of a bush or shrub. 
So even if you can't get things to grow or while you're waiting for things to bloom, this can be some color in your yard. And Jesse shares, I like garden. My husband, husband doesn't let me hang up the chimes anymore because he sleeps during the day. Oh, that makes sense. I can understand that. Because I'll tell you, anytime I finally decide I'm going to take a nap, so help me, that is when the garbage truck comes, I tell you. Or when a neighbor decides to mow, I, I always feel like it's a sign. So that I'm just not meant for napping because anytime I try, something always gets in my way. Okay, last call. Okay, next, I want to show you something for the yard or the outside for your porch, patio, veranda, and this is just pretty. It doesn't make any noise. It is just gorgeous with showy colors. It is metal and shiny. So we're going to start this one off at $8. And I've got two varieties of it. Here is the first one. It is a garden sign. You'll see it's got this strong construction. It's got this really heavy metal hook. And it says, welcome. It's got these beautiful flowers and ombre of blues and ombre of purples going into gold. I love that they are not just one color, that they are beautifully painted in an ombre pattern. Then we go to this beautiful butterfly and you'll see it too is metal it too is painted in an ombre of colors from orange to yellow to um a green so this is going to be the first option so and the way it shines in the light the light just picks this up so beautifully and especially if you have um, like dull brick, like I do, when you put something colored on top of dull brick, it just shines. Dee, I am so glad to see you. I think this may be the first time Dee is here. Dee is such a big time seller. I didn't even think she knew who little old me was. And so I am honored, honored, honored to have you here. Okay, so this is the first choice. Here is the second choice. And these are brand new with tags, y'all. Um, this one is also a welcome sign, but it's got different colors and it's got different animals. So we are looking for $8 for choice. So if you like hummingbirds, if you like the darker flowers, maybe you're a red girl. Once again, this is a metal and look at the ombre of colors, even in the welcome sign, not just the ombre of colors in the flowers. So $8 for choice. Okay, Jesse's in for $8. And these would also look great on a fence, on your porch, your patio, sun porch, veranda. Because when you decorate with metal, it is just going to slowly but surely have a beautiful natural patina. And if at some point you decide you're going to have an outdoor picnic, an outdoor barbecue, all of this just adds to your decorations. So Jess is in for eight. We're looking for nine. I want to remind everybody that tomorrow I'm doing a premiere at noon and that premiere is a buy it now and it's a buy it now for one dollar one dollar who else is selling things off at a rapid rate for just one dollar who else is doing buy it now premieres so I'm so excited to be doing some new and innovative stuff on my channel even if it's small Okay, we are sold to Jessie, and she is going for the hummingbird. Congratulations. Anybody for the butterfly? 
Anybody for the butterfly? Oh, you're going to be there, Casey. Yay. I love that. Thank you so much. I'll be looking for you, sweetie. And you can even share it out on your community page if you have time, Casey. Okay. Anybody for the butterfly one? Okay. We will pass on this one. It will be available to those people watching the replay. Next, I have a metal wreath. Did you know that there was such a thing as metal wreaths? Well, there are. Um, I had a dad who loved there to be something on the front door so the house looked decorated, but he would say to my mom all the time, oh, Penny, don't you have something that isn't so frilly? Surely you can come up with something. So she would specifically look for decorations that were right for the season, but were appealing to guys as well as women. And my dad tended to like things that were wood or tended to like things that were metal um, be, rather than the girly girl flowers. So we're going to start this metal wreath off at $8 also. So let me walk you through what you get. First, there's this cute honeybee. Then we've got a red, orange, yellow ombre flower. A cute little ladybug. Here's another red, orange, yellow flower. Here is a cute little um, hummingbird. And then we've got a pink and yellow flower. And this one is still brand new with the tags. It's funny, even though my parents are gone, when I am retail arbitraging, I still pick up things and I think, oh, my dad would like this or my mom would like this. And it's in my cart and then I get home and I think, I guess they're not going to uh, get to see it or enjoy it. It's just so a habit when you're used to shopping for other people that you still keep buying things that they would have liked. But I always hope that if they would have liked it, other people in my chat and my auction would have too. Thank you so much for helping out, Jesse. I appreciate that. Okay, Jesse's in for eight on this metal wreath. Anybody want to go to nine? And I do have multiples of this in case Jesse needs multiples or somebody else needs one as well. Okay, last call on this one. And then after this, let me know if y'all want to do some rugs, blankets, Easter. Um, if you want to do some um, health and beauty, some jewelry, you'll let me know what you'd like to see first. I am surrounded here by great items. Okay, we are sold. Jesse, let me know how many of these you want. I've got three of these available. I know some people have a double front door, so they have to get two of matching things when they buy for their front door. I have to admit, I've always wanted to be one of those two uh, double front doors because then you can open both when you want to move big pieces of furniture out. Okay, she's going with one. Anybody else want to get in on one of these gorgeous metal garden wreaths with the hummingbird, the ladybug, the cute little honeybee, and all these gorgeous flowers? It is all metal. Okay, let's move this aside. Next, let's do a couple of stuffed animals because Easter is around the corner. So here is a cute little bear that is dressed as a bunny. And I've got this cute little duck that is polka dotted. How cute is that? 
So if anybody is interested in either of these two, we're going to start them at two bucks. Two bucks. These don't have any kind of a particular tag. I don't know if they are new or vintage. No information about them. That's why I'm just starting them at two bucks. Also, for choice, I'm going to add this bunny candle. Look how cute this candle is. I'll add this as an option for two bucks as well. So two dollars for choice. Okay, any interest? Okay, Maria's in for two. Thank you, Maria. Okay, let's count this down and see which of these she might want. And y'all remember at the top of the hour, we're going to have another Bell's Bargain Bonanza round where everything starts at just $1. Okay, let's see which one or ones my moderator Maria might want. Everybody can congratulate Maria on her win. Okay, did you want the bunny candle or the uh, teddy bear dressed as a bunny? Bunny candle or stuffed teddy bear dressed as a bunny? Aw, thank you for sharing me out, Casey. I appreciate that. And I think Jessie said she might have shared me out either last night or tonight. I appreciate that. Okay, this one going to Maria. Cute, cute, cute. Thank you so much. Okay, anybody else for the buddy candle or the cute little ducky? Quack, quack. One of the things I love about Discord is it has a whole bank of sounds. So when I'm talking to the moderators during a meeting or with them individually, um, I love to use those sounds. Lisa loves to use those sounds too. So it has everything from a golf clap to the wah, 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 sad horn to a quack to crickets. Um, so fun. I often wish that we had those in real life. Okay, Ca Crochet Queen Kathy is going to get this cute little bunny candle. Great sold to Kathy. Everybody congratulate Kathy on that purchase. Okay, anybody for this polka dot ducky? Rub a ducky, you're the one. Oh, but it's not rubber. It's stuffed. Okay, last call on this. Mwah, mwah, take me home, take me home. Adoption needed. I'll be a good ducky. Okay, if anybody's interested on this on the replay, it is still available. Next, $4, I have lotions. And not just any lotion, I have big lotions. And they have have a pump top to them. And I've got them in three um, 
different scents. Let me throw the ruler up here so that you can see how huge they are. These are eight inches tall. They have 13 ounces in them. They are big, big, big. So let me show you for your $4 starting bid the choices. The first one is Harvest Spice. And Harvest Spice smells like pumpkin, ginger, and clove. The second one is Frosted Apple. And it smells like apple and cranberry. And the third one is called Cozy Cabin. And it smells like both vanilla and sandalwood. So these are a big, huge pump size, 13 ounces. So looking for $4 for choice. So if you are trying to heal some of that dry winter skin from the cold temperatures, from the drying and cracking the wind, this can be a major part of uh, healing it, soothing it, moisturizing it, and the smells are fantastic. Now, sometimes I'll have people say, you know, I kind of like that, but I'm afraid it might clash with my body wash. Because what if I use a body wash that's lavender and then I put something vanilla on after it? Is it going to go together? It just doesn't really work for me. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, let me show you what I have. Okay, I have the matching fragrance spice. I have the matching fragrance in Cozy Cabin. And I have the matching fragrance in Frosted Apple. So this way, if you are worried about your fragrances and your lotions not going together, here I have the solution. So I'm going to put the fragrances at four as well. And you know my policy of buy more, save more. So if there's anybody that wants to get a set of the lotion and the fragrance, instead of having to pay $4 each, which would be $8, I'm going to take the price down to a two-piece set for $6. So if you want a two-piece set for $6, put a six in the chat and then tell me if you want Harvest Spice, if you want Frosted Apple, or you want Cozy Cabin. Cozy Cabin is vanilla and sandalwood. Frosted Apple is apple and cranberry. Harvest Spice is a pumpkin, ginger, and clove. So you can get a two-piece set with my buy more, save more policy for the teeny tiny low reduced price of $6 for a two-piece set. Let me wait just a minute to give Lisa time to put the $6 special in. And to um, see if anybody wants to take me up on this. Otherwise, we will go to the next item. Last call on this one. And these are also great for putting in Easter baskets, Mother's Day, Father's Day, little hostess gifts, and bath baskets. Okay, next $3 for choice. 
And it's a set of interlocking pens. Do you ever have a problem where you lose certain colors of pens? Or maybe your kids lose certain colors of pens? I can't find the red. I can't find the pink. I can't find the green. Well, well, well. Well, these interlock. That way they can keep them all together and they can find them. So this is going to be $3 for choice. This first one is hearts. And look at the shine and shimmer. You wouldn't think these pens would be beautifully faceted, but they are. So they could have been plain Jane, but yet they are beautifully faceted. So hearts are the first option. The second option are these cute little bears. They kind of look like gummy bears, but they are pens. Super cute, and they just nest all in a row. I always picture these kind of like the dwarfs where they say, hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go, where these pens are saying, hi ho. Hi ho, it's off to mark wing go. It's off to color wing go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Okay, so that's the little bears. And then last but not least, these look like Legos, don't they? So look like Legos, but you know what? They are the interlocking highlighter pens too. So $3 for choice. The choices are the hearts, the bears, or the Lego. Okay, Jesse's in for three. Anybody want to go up to four or get in for second choice? Here at the Southern Bell NOLA channel, we have a Southern hospitality policy, which means you don't have to be in or out. You can get in for second choice. Second choice means the bid doesn't go up in price, but you don't get to pick First. So there's no guarantee the one or ones you want might still be left. But I'll tell you, these I've got multiples, so you can basically get what you want. And Lisa, I think you're accidentally leaving an E off the end of Jesse's name. She's been nice enough not to say anything, but I don't want her to get offended. We care about people and their names and what they want to be called. So I hope you didn't think any disrespect. I'm sure it's just in the haste of typing. Okay, Jesse's going to go with the hearts. Okay, let me get one from down here. All right, I've got it. Anybody else? Okay, last call on this one. Okay, I've still got multiples available to those who are watching the replay. Now, the next item was um, inspired by the chat last night. Y'all kept saying, oh, we got an inch of snow. We got three inches of snow, four inches of snow. So I thought I'm going to bring out some warm blankets and throws. This one is specifically a soft throw. And when it says soft, oh. I wish you could feel it. These are going to be $10 for choice. They measure 50 by 60 inches. And this first round is for the animal lovers. Look at these beautiful Labradors. Golden Lab, Chocolate Lab, Black Lab. Super cute. Also... 
We've got this stately deer, great for the hunters, great for Father's Day. Maybe you have a hunting cabin. Um, maybe your guy has a man cave. and But yet, guys still like soft stuff. Um, and here is this stately deer. Come on, stay there. Stay for me. No, really? Y'all are going to? Okay, let's put you down here then. I'll work with y'all. And last but not least, for my horse lovers, look at this great steed with his hair just blowing in the wind. Once again, it's a soft throw. Once again, it's 50 by 60. So three gorgeous soft throws looking for $10. Oops, got one more. This one also 50 by 60. Also a soft throw, but this one is sweet little cats. I don't know if we have any cat people out there. Look at these sweet little cats. And let me see if I can show you some here. With the way it's kind of tied up, you can't really see them too much. Um, it's probably better in the picture. But so I've actually got a cat one too. I'll put the cat one too down here. See if I can back up the camera. So the choices are cats, dogs, deer, or horse. Looking for $10. And these are so soft that not only will you want them for warmth, but just when you're watching TV, just to be cozy, just to be snuggly, you will want them for that reason too. Okay, Maria's in for 10. Anybody want to go up to 11? Otherwise, we're going to count this down and see which one or one she wants. Great birthday gift, Father's Day gift. Okay, we are sold. Let's see which one or ones Maria wants. Everybody congratulate our list maker, Maria, on this purchase tonight. And we're getting close to the top of the hour. So we'll probably have time to do one more before our next Spells Bargain Bonanza. Okay, she's going to go for the horse and the dog. Okay, great choices. Anybody for the cat or the deer? Cat or deer is what's left. Last call on these. The cat one might even be a nice um, baby shower gift. Okay, we're going to pass on these two. They'll be available for people watching the replay. Okay, next I've got two last blankets, and I kind of think these might be the best blankets. And you're going to say, well, why? These are a luxury throw. 
Now, it's not me saying it's luxury. It is the manufacturing company saying it's a luxury throw. And you know what's luxurious about it? It has these beautiful pom-poms. You know, there are some people that will put a throw on the edge of the bed, uh, the corner of the sofa, just over the back of a recliner, just for the artistic look of the home decor. And these, with these pretty little pom-poms on it, have great artistic decor to it. And this is a rich royal red, not a tomatoey red, but a royal red. And the other luxury throw I have is this one that is embossed. This one is a gorgeous emerald green. Looks kind of teal on the camera, but it's more emerald. And look how it is embossed with this beautiful, amazing um, geometric print. And it is all over the throw. So if you're a tone-on-tone, -tone, rich color kind of person where you don't like a lot of big flowers or prints, but you like some pattern, some detail, um, understated luxury, this embossed throw is exactly that. Okay, Carla says we have 18 thumbs. Let's see if we can't get to 20. Can y'all help me get to 20? Thank you so much, Carla, for keeping an eye on that. Since I can't see thumbs, I am so glad you helped me out with that, sweetheart. Okay, let's see if we can't get to 20. And if we do, Carla will report back. Okay, looking for $10 on the red luxury throw with pom-poms or the green luxury throw with the embossed geometric pattern. And then after this, we're going to go to to the Bell's Bargain Bonanza, but let me give Lisa time to put this in the chat. So looking for $10 for choice. Any interest? And two, you know, if you have some older furniture, this is a great way to pull the eye away from the old furniture and have the eye go to the pretty um, covering, to the pretty throw. So it's absolutely a way to disguise what might be old furniture or tattered furniture. So, you know, if you can't fix it, then dress it up pretty. Okay, last call on this, and then we're going to go to the Bell's Bargain Bonanza. Okay, let me move this aside. Okay, so here we go. These items are going to be $1 starting bid, and I've got pendants. And these pendants are cute little cats. And I have four of each. So if, if you maybe need two to make a set of earrings or one for uh, to make a pendant. So super cute. I've got four available of each type. So with the way Bell's Bargain Bonanza works, we are starting these at just $1. Looking for a $1 starting bid. I don't know if we have any cat lovers in the audience. And also I'll show you the backs of these as well. They are oh, <laughs> new and shiny and even have a little bit of texture to them. And here's a close up. In fact, let me lift the tray and see if I can give you close ups of all of them. 
really pretty. Okay, any interest? Nobody for the cutie cats, really? I'm so surprised. Okay, last call. We'll get back to the auction. Okay, let me move these aside then. Let me throw them in the little envelope. Well, I tell you what, I hate for my $1 round to be a bust. Let me give you a replacement item since we're getting so close to Easter. I've got these beautiful Easter bags. So if anybody needs an Easter bag, $1. We'll make this our Bell's Bargain Bonanza item instead. So let me show you these bags. These are not paper bags. These are made of that reusable material, kind of like grocery bags are. And then we've got these really strong handles to them. These will totally be weight bearing. And then let me show you how big it opens up. Huge. So one dollar for the Easter bag. Yeah. All right. Anybody one dollar for the Easter bag? Okay. Jesse's in for a dollar. And I do have multiples of these. So I bought a whole case thinking they would be popular. So now I'm glad I did a replacement item for this $1 round. And keep in mind, y'all can request a Bell's Bargain Bonanza round anytime in the auction, even if it's not the top of the hour, just by putting the letters BBB in the chat. Okay, Jesse's going to take two. Here's two for Jesse. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Anybody else? Last call on these. These will still be available for the replay. Okay, fold it back up. There we go. Okay, let's see what we have. Uh, next, let's do some rugs. Okay, these rugs are going to start out at $6. These are going to be scatter rugs. So here's the first one. It is green, orange, got a little gray, a little... Um, yellow to it. It says these are hand woven for indoor use. The size is 20. I'm not going to open it up all the way. I just want you to be able to see the colors. 20 by 30 brand new with tag. But wait, that's not the only one. I've also got this one that is red and green and golden. Once again, hand loomed for indoor use, 20 by 30. So this one's going to be the second choice. Third choice, and this one has fringe to it, is this teal cream and it's got a little bit of a um, terracotta to it. This one is 18 by 27. 
that's going to be the third choice. Still looking for $6. And last but not least, this one is 18 by 28. And this one has actual words on it. Let me open it up and move back to the camera a little bit. It says gather. It says gather. So this one is black and white. Let's see if I can turn it this way. I'll put it at the back. So you've got four rugs to choose from. So this one is 18 by 28, 20 by 30, 20 by 30, and 18 by 27. So looking for $6 for choice. You know, if you don't like to put your feet down in the morning on that cold floor, this scatter rug is a great way to um, have just a little something to put your feet on. They've got a great texture too. My mother even would put one in front of the sofa so that when she was getting up and down, um, she didn't have to vacuum in between the sofa and the coffee table. She could just pick that whole little rug up and go shake it outside. And that was so much simpler than having to um, try to vacuum in that small area. Do you have any two of the same? Not of this type, but of the type coming up after this, I do have two of the same. So these are all one and dones, but after this, I'm going to show you two different options of which I do have two of the same. So great question, Jesse. Okay. Any interest? Otherwise, I'm going to pack these up. And I'll show you the next set. The next set are going to be the same price, $6. But at the next set, I do have two available of each. And not only that, they are memory foam. Okay. So first, I've got a chocolate brown, and it looks like cobblestones. How cute is that? And this is the back. You'll see they have these grippers on the back. I like that a lot. And if you're not into chocolate brown, I have a deep black. And once again, the black has these grippers on the bottom. And I do have two available in the chocolate. I do have two available in the black. So great neutrals that are going to go with so many different decors. And if you're not uh, familiar with how memory foam works, you'll see it is elevated and it's thick. So you push it down when you're standing on it and then it pops back up. You push it down and it pops back up. These are the kind that I use in front of my stove and in front of my sink. And you know why? It's because I have some um, back pain. And especially when I'm standing there washing dishes or stirring, 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 because if you don't stir that pasta, it's going to stick. I've learned that the hard way. And there's lots of other stuff that you can cook that you just got to stand there and stir. So I like to have something cushioning to stand on. And that's also why I bought two sets of these, because I thought, well, if they don't sell, because um, that's always in my mind, what if they don't sell and I'm, you know, stuck with whatever I bought, um, then I can use them in my own house because I like a matching set in front of my stove and in front of my sink. And I find this memory foam just cushions so much because it is nice and thick. I'm not sure if y'all can see just how thick it is. Super thick. So I've got these in brown and in black. Okay, any interest in these? Okay, we're going to pass then. Okay. 
Okay. Next. How about some of organizational items? Because I'm always trying to find a way to um, keep things neat and organized. And it is so hard, especially when you have so much stuff that you either have been selling or are planning to sell. So Oh, I want to show you one of the ways that I keep it organized. I have these little crates right here. These are going to be $3. Buy it now. So these flip down flat like this. And then you flip up the sides when you need them. And you put your stuff in them. And I think these are just a godsend. They really help me keep organized. So $3, buy it now. I only have three of these and they are all gray, all gray. Okay, Jen's in for three. Okay, these are buy it now. So how many do you want? One, two, or all three? She's going to get all three. Okay. Here we go. Here's all three. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. Next, in the same vein of organization... I've got these little containers. They have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five by three. They've got 15 spots in them. I'm going to start these at two. I've got them in pink. I've got them in blue. And I've got them in clear. Let me show you how they work. You open them here, and then they have all these spots. So if you need a place to put your earrings, you need a place to put earring backs, sequins, um, findings, um, little clasps. Maybe you want to organize your vitamins or medicines. Um, whether you're using it for jewelry, for crafts. And it's got a nice little latch on it. And I have these in three different colors. So if you're doing jewelry, you might want one for sterling silver, one for costume, one for gold. Or maybe you want one for uh, your daughter's items, your son's items, your own items. Okay, Jesse's in for three. Anybody want to go up to? Oh, no, she's in for two. Okay. That's fine, too. She's in for two. Well, it was starting bin. Uh, two dollars. I did say two. I'm going to have some bigger ones at $3 and at $5 coming up. This is the smallest that I have. And I'll go ahead and show you. I have, let's see, three of the clear. I have two of the pink. And I have just one of the blue. So Jesse is in for two. Does anybody want to go up to three? Otherwise, Maria will count this down and we'll see how many Jesse wants. And then I'll show you the other uh, sizes and types of storage containers. Oh, wait, I'm wrong, wrong, wrong. I've got three more in the pink. Sorry. So I have a total of five in the pink. Five in the pink, one in the blue, and three in the clear.
Okay, Jesse's gonna go with all five in the pink. Okay, here's the five in pink for, for Jesse. Excellent, thank you so much. Okay, so I've still got three in the clear left and one in the blue left. Okay, Crochet Queen Kathy is in. Kathy, uh, which one or ones do you want? I've got three in the clear and one in the blue. And if it matters, the clear has a navy blue um, closure and the blue one has a white closure. Okay, she's going to go with the blue one. All right, anybody else ready to get organized for spring? After all, spring cleaning can also mean organization. These are just two bucks. But maybe some of y'all are waiting on the bigger ones. Let me leave this one out just so I can show you the size difference with the next one. Okay, the next one is going to be $3. And you're saying, why is it $3? Well, look at the difference. This one has 15 uh, spots. This has one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this one has 20. So you can see it is bigger and has more spots. So this one was $2. And this one is $3. So looking for $3 for this bigger and more um, container, more squares in it. And of this one, I only have three of these. Only have three available. It's $1 more, but you're getting more um, square feet and you're getting more, um, spots to store stuff. Okay. $3 starting bid. Maria, did we get the price in there? And I hope everybody's having a great time tonight. Y'all make sure and click the thumbs up after this i'll show you an even bigger one at the five dollar price point okay any interest at the three dollar price point Okay, I'm going to leave one of these sitting out just for comparison. I'll leave the smaller one sitting out for comparison. And let me show you this biggest one. I'm even going to open it from the contain from the sack for a minute just so y'all can see. Now, this one is so big, it's got double closures on it. This one's going to be $5. And look at the size in comparison to the size of this one. You'll see this is more than double the size and more than double the containers. Also, if you look at the width, you'll see this one is way more narrow and this one is more tall. So while this one is good for earrings, findings, that kind of thing, this one is great for bigger items like brooches, like bracelets. In fact, let's do a bracelet test. Let me see if I have some bracelets out here. I think I do. So I'm going to show them later and sell them off. So here's a pretty bracelet coming up later with turquoise fits. Um, here's another big bracelet, turquoise coming up later fits. Oh, there's a duplicate of 
that one and look you can double stack them even because there is so much room for those dragon lovers once again fits and has extra room to it something else i like about it is we'll be having some earrings later some people like to keep their earrings on the card if you like to keep your earrings in the card then they're gonna fit Once again, earrings on the card, it's going to fit. Okay, Jesse's in at five. Let me get my jewelry out of here because we'll be looking at it later. Okay, anybody want to go up to six? Let me close this up. Put it back in the sleeve and I have four of these available it's always easier to get it out of these packaging rather than to get it back in Okay, we'll see how many of these Jesse wants. I've got one, two, three, and four. Four of these available. We'll see how many she wants. You know, you need different sizes for different items. Okay, she's going to take two. These two go into Miss Jesse. Anybody else for the other two? I still have one sealed and one that I opened up just to show y'all what it looks like, but it's still new. Y'all congratulate Jessie on her purchase. Okay, any interest in these biggest containers? Okay, let's go on to a different type of containers. Okay, Lisa is not only back, but she is back and fabulous. Better to be back and fabulous than back and tired or back and complaining. So I hope everybody is feeling fabulous because I'm having a fun time at the auction and I hope y'all are too. Well, we were talking about a place for everything and everything in its place. Do y'all know what this is? This is a place for wet items. Now, I usually call it a sponge holder, but it's not limited to sponges. And how does it attach? It's got this adjustable attachment. And so if you're putting it around a really small nozzle, then you put it on the smallest. Or if you've got a big nozzle, so this can go in your kitchen hanging from your faucet. This can go in your bathroom hanging from your spout either way. And this will fit all kinds of sponges. So you've got the standard kind of sponge, which is um, soft on the back and scrubby. It's going to fit in here. Look how it fits like a dream. But you're saying, oh, I don't use that size and shape sponge. Well, if you use the ergonomic one so you can put your hands in the hourglass of the curve, look, it's, oh, <laughs> oh I am such a klutz. Here we go. It is going to fit that too. And if you're saying, oh, Belle, I bought those super big, thick sponges that you sell in the five pack, it's never going to fit in there. Oh, 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 yes, it does. Now, granted, it's, well, you can even fit it this way, but it fits better here. So look how great this is. So if if you don't want your wet sponge just sitting on the side of the tub or sitting on the tile next to the tub, all you have to do is put this around the spout or the nozzle, same way in the kitchen. Oh, I forgot to give the price. Just three bucks. Three bucks. And I have three of these available. And you'll see here's the drainage right here. So plenty of drainage. 
But if you also want to put other types of scrubbers, if you want to put your toothbrush in it, if you want to put your loofah in it, your shower poof, uh, your Brillo for the kitchen. So you can put whatever you want to in it. Okay, Jen's in for three. So I personally have one of these in each bag bathroom and my kitchen because I'm just a everything in its place kind of girl and this works so well for that. Also, I haven't found any place that this adjustable uh, won't fit. So I love things that will fit everything. Okay, anybody for four? Otherwise, we're going to count this down. Oh, Jesse's got a good idea. You could put soap in this. Absolutely. You could put soap. Yes, ma'am. Good idea. You could even put a pump of hand soap or body wash. If you had it at smaller sizes of um, shampoo, conditioner, that type of thing. In fact, I'm going to have these coming up at our next um, Bell's Bar. Bonanza if we make it to the next hour, but look how the uh, individual size just fits here. So if you use these travel or trial sizes, this is a great, great way to put them in. So a little preview of what we'll have if we make it to the next hour, and I hope we do. As long as there's sales, I just keep the auction going. Okay, we are sold to Jen. Will it be one, two, or three? All three. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Thank you so much, Jen. Okay, next I've got a knife sharpener. Look how cute this knife sharpener is. $5 and it looks like a little monkey. And you just drag your knife right through here. And when it's sitting in your kitchen, it's not just going to be a boring knife sharpener. No, it looks like a little mascot. And I love that you can hold it by the little ears so that when you're dragging, dragging, dragging your knife through to sharpen it, it gives you a cute little place to hold it. And I love that it looks like a cute little kitchen mascot. So it's going to look cute if you have it sitting out on display. And I have two of these available. Because after all, you could buy new knives every time they get dull. But with this, you can give a longer life to your knives just by sharpening them. And, you know, all those fancy celebrity chefs always say the most dangerous knives are the dull ones because you're cutting differently, pressing differently in order to try to get it to cut. Okay, Jen's in for five. Anybody want to go up to six? I only have two of these. Okay, Maria's up to six. Anybody for seven? These are so cute. I love when kitchen things are both functional and yet still attractive, still cute. And even if you're giving somebody knives as a gift, um, great to put a knife sharpener with it so that after they receive it, they can keep those knives sharp. Okay, we've got six. We're looking for seven. Any other interest? If not, we're going to count this down. Oh. 
Okay, last call. We're going to count this down. And once again, thank you everybody for being here at the auction tonight. I hope y'all are having fun. I'm having a great time. And remember, we're going to have the premiere at noon tomorrow. And at noon, everything is going to be $1. So it'll be the first person to claim it gets it for a dollar. Okay, she's going to go for one. Anybody want to buy the other one? I've got one more left if anybody wants to buy the other one. Okay, sold to Maria. Thank you so much, Maria. Okay, next. Uh, the other one would be the same price. I couldn't charge one person one price and another person another price. So anytime uh, somebody else buys, they have to duplicate the winning bid. Does that make sense? That way, whoever wins the bid pays the same amount as everybody else. So everybody pays the same amount. Okay, next, I've got a two-pack of Mr. Clean Erasers. Now, if it matters, the top of the package is slightly torn, slightly torn. I'm not sure why that would matter, but I always want to be honest with people. So it says it is four times stronger. It is extra durable. So I'm going to start this two-pack out for two bucks. Two pack of Mr. Clean Eraser Sponges, extra durable for two dollars. Did we get the price in? Moderators, did we get $2 for the two-pack of Mr. Clean Sponges? Thank you so much. And once again, it's a little torn in the packaging here. The sponges inside it are just fine. Mighty fine even. Okay, any interest in the two-pack of Mr. Clean Eraser Sponges? Okay, we're going to pass on this. Next, we're going to do $3 for choice, and I'm going to have a bunch of choices. The first choice is a five-pack of these chip clips. Well, I call them chip clips. They're actually multi-purpose uh, clips. So if you want to clip your Swedish fish closed, if you want to clip uh, the item you're waiting for the glue to dry so it stays in place, if you want to clip some of your receipts, it's together while you're getting ready for taxes. So the first option for $3 for choice is going to be a five pack of these multi-purpose clips. Next, I've got a three container set. These are by Kidgets and they are food safe containers. Although my mother bought a whole case of these and she wasn't intending to use them for food. She was going to use them for sequins and earring backs and um, 
beading and all of those kind of crafty things. Although I'll tell you what I did with it. I would put uh, carrot sticks in the bottom and I would probably put um, some uh, little blockly florets here and I put some ranch right here. Something else I like about it. Can you see this little perforation? This is a handle. So when you open it up, you have a handle to carry it by. And these interlock. Can you see how they screw together? So if you get multiple sets, you can screw multiple sets together. So this is going to be the second choice at the $3 price point. Now, one is this cool gadget. Do you have a hard time making slices exactly the same width and symmetrical? I just love when I go to a uh, hamburger cookout and they have that beautiful buffet and you see all these tomatoes with these perfect slices, all these onions with the perfect slices. And I think, how do you do that? Well, you hold it in this hand, you put the tomato or onion here, and you cut in between. That's how you get the perfect slices for that buffet. So that's going to be the next choice. Ever wondered how they get those waffle fries? Or sometimes you'll see waffle carrots, other waffle things cut. Um, it's with a waffle cutter. So this is a vegetable peeler here. So you peel your potato with this end and then you cut it with this end. So, or you peel your carrot here and then you get the waffle cut. So that's going to be the next choice at the $3 price point. Who likes garlic, but yet it is so small, it is hard to cut and grade up. So this is for garlic. You put your little garlic clove in there, you push it down with this, and then you rock it back and forth, rock it back and forth rock it back and forth. And this is how you grade and mince up your garlic for all of those fabulous sauces. I'll put it right here. And last but not least, this is probably the one that we in my local area would use most. It is an oyster shucker, or you could use it on fish too. It is so sharp. It comes with a sheath to it. And you can see it's so sharp. It's also breaking through the package. But I've got this great tool for oysters. It's also got a place you can hang it if you want to. So I'll put it here. So these are the choices for three bucks. Maria's already in for three. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, anybody want to go up to four? Anybody want to get in for second choice? Otherwise, we're going to count this down to Maria. And you could make a nice little chef's gift basket with these. These would be great for Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, a birthday gift for a budding young chef or a home chef aficionado. Okay, and Jen says, congratulations, Maria. Let's see which one or ones she picks. Ooh. 
lots of good choices. Once again, the choicesters are the uh, oyster cutter or fish cutter, the five pack of multi-purpose clips, the garlic grinder, the three pack of containers, the uh, slicer for fruits and vegetables, and the waver waffle cutter. Okay, the storage and the garlic. Okay, if you need multiples of this three-pack storage, uh, let me know. I do have multiples available. Let me get one from the floor. So let me know how many you need. Anybody want to get in for second choice? We've still got lots left, and I have more multiples of this three-piece sayot. Okay, she's going to take four of the three packs. Okay, let me get those for her. All right, there we go. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Last call on these. Still lots of great items. Okay, let me clear these off. And those will still be available for the replay. Okay, next, who needs some kitchen shears? These are powerful. These are stainless steel, and they do so much. I know you're seeing this little cut out, and you're already saying, hmm, what's that for? Although Casey might know since she has Casey's Country Cooking. But let me show you the back to show you all that these will do. These are 8.5 inches. So the first thing that these will do is it's a nutcracker. So did you realize in between the handles, it's a nutcracker. And next we have for cutting wire. That's what that little spot is right there. Then uh, for cutting fish. And this little notch right here, you wondered what the notch was for? That's a bottle opener. Oh, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well, Jen. We will miss you. I hope you feel better. So this is going to be $3 for these multi-purpose stainless steel kitchen do-everything shears. But if you prefer... Um, heavy duty, just regular. I have Fiskars. Fiskars are recommended by teachers and you will see they are super heavy duty. These are still sealed. So I also have Fiskars if you're looking for really good scissors for paper, because we all know that you don't use your paper scissors in the kitchen around food and you don't use your food scissors to cut paper because paper tends to dull scissors. So therefore, um, two different types of scissors looking for $3. I have three pairs of the kitchen scissors and just one pair of the Fiskars. So if you want to be able to both uh, cut in your kitchen, but yet also crack the nuts, also open bottles and do so much more. These scissors are amazing. Okay, Jesse's in for three. Maria's in for four. Anybody for five?
Anybody for five? Anybody for second choice? Otherwise, we will count this down. And Casey is saying the ones for the kitchen, they last a long time because she has some of those. That is a great testimonial. Thank you so much, Casey. I appreciate that. Only 10 minutes till the top of the hour when we have another $1 round, which we call Bell's Bargain Bonanza. So I have three pairs available of the multi-function kitchen scissors and just one of the Fiskars. The Fiskars are great for paper crafting, scrapbooking, cutting of ephemera and decoupage and those kind of crafts. Okay, we are sold to Maria. Let's see how many and which types she wants. Oh, we're up to 20 thumbs. Yay. Thank you so much for keeping track of that, Carla. Do y'all think we can get up to 25 tonight? The one close to the wall, too. Okay, here is the multi-function kitchen scissor close to the wall. Thank you so much. Okay, anybody else? I've got just one pair left of each. One pair left of each. Okay, last call on these. They'll still be available to people watching the replay. Okay, next let's do some little earrings. So I have these all numbered out, kind of like I numbered the items for the Buy It Now premiere. These are going to be $3. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I, I took my eyes off the chat for just a minute. Let me see. Um, Jesse's going to take the Fiskars. Okay. Here's the Fiskars. Thank you so much. Okay. I got it, Lisa. Thank you so much for putting up the caution, 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 the lights changing caution sign. Okay. Everybody congratulate Jesse on getting those Fiskars. Such a great brand. All right. These earrings are going to be $3 for for choice, they're going to be buy it now. So the first person that puts in a three and then the number they want. So if you want this first one that looks kind of like a paw print or maybe it looks kind of like a flower, you'll put three and hash uh, number one. So this is the first one. It's got a black outline in these beautiful little crystals. Can you see the crystals gleaming in the light? Not painted on. It's got crystals in it. Number two is a silver tone with beautiful leaves. Number three are these darling little bows in a silver tone. Number four are cat ears. If we have any cat, feline, kitten enthusiasts, number four. Number five are these pink pearl dangles. So fabulous for spring. Pearls are such a classic and these pink ones hard to find. And then for number six, look at the sparkle. Sparkle City for number six. Then let's look at the other side. Number 12, you have a beautiful pink daisy. 
Number 11 is a heart with three pretty little um, gemstones inside. Maybe it's for Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Maybe you have three sisters or three children and they are your heart or maybe two and a husband. So that's number 11. Number 10 are these red enamel hearts. Number nine are these beautiful Austrian crystal. Um, they are purple and they just shine and glimmer. Number 12 is also bows. These are a gold tone. So if you were confused, number three is a silver tone. Number eight is a gold tone. Oh, congratulations to Jesse that picked number 12. And number seven is this diamond shape. It's also in a silver tone. I try to put all the gold tone together and all the silver tone together so y'all can tell which is which. So $3 for choice. And just so y'all know, you'll see this board again and again, but each week I change out um, the different earrings that are offered. But so I don't want you to say, oh, there's that board. I see. I saw that last week. There will be different earrings in it. But number 12 is getting sent to Jesse. They are so lightweight, pretty, and spring appropriate. Can you show number six? Okay, here is number six. And just look at the way it shines. And some of these I can reorder in multiples. This one is a one and done. It's not from any place that I can reorder it. So when it sells, it is gone. But I love that it has metallic colors that's going to go with everything. It's got a little sparkle to catch the light, but not overdone, not ostentatious, just a little sparkle to catch the light. Okay, any interest? See, even from a distance, Lisa, this one's going to be your sparkle and shine, your little bit of glamour. Okay, Lisa's going for number six. I'm so glad. I can totally tell. I can totally see her in this earring. Because if she would have said, what earring do you think would be best for me? I would have totally suggested number six. And if you've watched any of the previous videos, you may have seen Lisa co-host a couple of times when we've had games or giveaways. And you can see her on her channel, um, Lisa M. Adventure, where she has fun, family-friendly content, where she goes dumpster dumpster diving, where she and her daughter play, where they um, have dance parties, where they paint toenails, where they go shopping, um, tons of cute family videos. Sometimes they try new foods even, or they try and see if they can put items together and if they work. She has a great channel, and I am so blessed to have her as a friend and moderator. Okay, we've got just a couple of minutes before the top of the hour. I'm going to circle back to these bracelets that I showed you earlier. These are going to start at $5 for choice. Let me show you what I have. I've got this one. I actually have two of this one. And you'll see this beautiful turquoise print. And here's a smaller one. And you just slide your wrist in. And if you want to close it, you can. If you want to open it up. And I have a huge wrist, y'all. A huge wrist. But you'll see, even with my huge wrist, I could still close it up further. 
if I wanted to clamp it, or if you have a small and dainty wrist, you just close it all this way. It can be as big or as small as you want it to. Close it all the way, open it way up, either way. I love how adjustable this is. So I have two of these. The next choice is, once again, that kind of adjustability. Um, it's a little bit of a thicker bracelet. I only have one one of these. Look at the beautiful turquoise, and I'm not sure if you can see, but it's got veining. I don't have too much light. You might can see more veining now. And look at the beautiful um, leaf designs on the side. To me, it almost has like an Aztec feeling or a Southwest feeling, maybe even a tropical feeling. Um, it depends if you think these are feathers. If you think these are feathers, then it has Native American feeling. If you think these are palm trees, then it gives it a coastal feeling. So looking at $5 for choice. And then in a gold tone, I've got this one with the dragons. Maybe it's you and a sister. Maybe it's you and your husband. Maybe it's uh, you on a good day and you on a round day when you're just kind of in a mood. <laughs> so these are going to be the bracelets that you have a choice of tonight. $5 for choice. So dragon, we're going to call this the feather one, and then we're going to call this one the flower. Dragon feather flower. Looking for $5. And I always think bracelets are a great gift because you might not know somebody's ring finger, but with bracelets, they are adjustable. So they're basically going to fit everybody. You know, with necklaces, sometimes you don't know. Do people like a long necklace that's going to hang past the cleavage? Do they like a shorter necklace where it's above the cleavage? But with the bracelet, it's one easy place to wear and it's going to be adjustable. So, and you can always give a friendship bracelet. Nobody's going to think, oh, wait, that's too serious. And you're like, oh, it's just a friendship bracelet. Okay, last call on these. And then we're going to go to the next Bell's Bargain Bonanza. And during this next Bell's Bargain Bonanza, everything is going to start at the low price of $1. $1. And it's going to be some of these travel trial sizes. Products are just so expensive now. I think it is better to start with a small size and see if you like it before you invest the big money in a full size one. So these are going to be $1 for choice. So first I've got Suave Almond and shea butter. This one is conditioner. Also, the almond and shea butter. This one is shampoo. Pantene for medium to thick hair. And it says frizzy to smooth as well. Oops. Okay, next I have a Lubriderm lotion. It is a daily moisturizing lotion. Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. 
and it softens and heals. It claims to last 24 hours for skin that is very dry. I love to have these lotions in my purse or in my car because when I'm stopped at a stoplight, I know some ladies are applying makeup, but I like to apply moisturizer. Next, by Vaseline, we have water resistant, which is great if you wash your hands a lot. This way you can moisturize your hands and it's going to last through all those hand washes. I've got a tiny little Dove um, deodorant alt ultra clear it says it is energizing and the scent is grapefruit and lemongrass i don't think i've ever seen a deodorant or an anti perp spread that was grapefruit and lemongrass super cutting edge then i have from the healing garden oh look this one was 3.99 from the healing garden, I have this little spritz or spray. And it says it is aromatherapy. And it's a scent or a perfume. And for those of y'all who are new to my channel, when I send these kind of products out, I put them inside a Ziploc baggie. Uh, for men, I've got a big four ounce aftershave. And last but not least, I've got a Eucerin Calming Body Wash. Let's see if I can tuck it in here. Okay, Lisa is in for a dollar. Next, by Clean and Clear, I have a, oh, a mark treatment. So if some of you accidentally have marks or scars, I am so sorry, but this is apparently formulated to treat them. Oops, are you not going to stand up for me? Apparently you're not. Maybe I can prop you there. Okay, Lisa's in for one. Anybody want to go up? Or get in for second choice. Otherwise, we will count it down and we'll see who wants what. I've got multiples of the Suave, multiples of Pantene, and multiples of the Vaseline Lotion. Everything else is one and done. Okay, Jesse's in for Second choice. Excellent. Okay, so Lisa, what are you picking? And then once you get through with all your picks, we'll see what Jesse wants from what's left. So once again, I have multiples of the Suave, the Pantene, and the Vaseline. What is the Suave? Okay, let me show you a close-up. The Suave is an almond and shea butter. It's a moisturizing conditioner with the clear cap. And with the green cap, it is the moisturizing shampoo. So um, they are both almond and shea butter, but the clear cap is the conditioner and the green cap is the shampoo. Okay, she's going to take the Dove, and she's going to take the little body wash. Okay, these two going to Lisa. All right, let's see what Jessie might want in what quantities. Okay. 
And y'all don't forget to click the thumbs up. Also, don't forget that I'm going to have a premiere at noon tomorrow, all $1 items. And tomorrow, there won't be any um, bidding. It will just be buying. You don't won't have to wait through countdowns. You just name it in the chat and you buy it. First person that names it gets it for the low price of $1 tomorrow. All right, so we'll circle back to Jesse for her um, second choice. Let me see if I can get these in here a little bit better. Oh, wait, I've got a lot of small. Let's make sure you really want that many off. Okay, let's let's make sure. Let me show you how many I have, and then we'll see. I've got three of the conditioner, and of the shampoo, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine of the shampoo. So let me really make sure, because that may be more than you want. Let me get the scar, but here's the scar, and we'll double check that you really, really mean all of the swap. Because you may not have realized how many I have. Okay, six shampoos. So one, two, three, four, five. Six and all three of the conditioners. One, two, three. Okay, let's see. She also wants the Lubriderm. Okay. And the Ultra Healing. Okay. So for my list makers, I want to make sure you've got it all. She wanted the um, Scar, which was one. The Lubriderm, which was one. The Ultra Healing, which was one. Six of the shampoos and three of the conditioners. So for those people watching the replay, let me show you what I have left. I've got three of the Suave Shampoo left. I've got two of the Pantene left. I have one, two, three left of the water resistant Vaseline intensive care lotion. I've got just one of the healing garden fragrance and just one of the after shave lotion for men. Okay. And Lisa is such a trooper. She's got it. So for y'all watching the replay, this is what is left. Every one of these items is $1. Just like the premiere tomorrow, each item at the premiere at noon will be $1. So it will be a matter of seeing who can buy it first in the chat. So it'll be fast and furious sales with no bidding, no countdowns, just grabbing it and claiming it. Okay, let me put these in my little container. Okay, back to the auction we go. Okay, next $2 for choice, I've got nail clippers. So one is by Beauty360, one is by One Plus Another, both of these are from CVS. These are both CVS brands, and these are the nice big size that is also great for toenail clipping. So a $2 for choice, buy it now. I do have multiples of these. So if you're putting together a little um, pedicure set or a little um, bath set, maybe these could go in Easter baskets or, 
or Mother's Day baskets. I have these everywhere because you know when I get a hangnail, it's not when I am just sitting next to my manicure set. It's when I am driving. It's when I'm out in the yard working. It's when uh, I notice it and I'm in the bathtub. So I have little clipper sets in every room, every little drawer next to the TV, next to the bed, in the bathroom, in my car, in my purse. So I just find that these are handy to have everywhere and at the low price of $2 for brand new sealed sets. It is affordable. And let's remember, guys have to clip their nails too. They may clip them shorter than we do, um, but they do because they don't want to snag nails on clothing and other stuff. So $2 for these. Okay, last call on these. Okay, next, how about some baskets? This is a lovely basket. It might look gray on screen. It's actually lavender. I'm going to start this one off at six bucks. And let me show you the inside, which is super clean. And it has this pretty white and lavender polka dot material. This is great for Easter or just great for home organizing. You need a place to put all of your uh, K cups in and your sweeteners and your creamers. This would look super cute next to your coffee station. Or maybe you put it in the bathroom and you throw in it your scrunchies and your ponytail holders, your barrettes, and all your other cute little hair accessories. You know, you have a pile of stuff on the counter, it looks messy. You have a pile of stuff in a basket, all of a sudden, oh, you're so organized. <laughs> and the only difference is whether the pile is inside a basket or just on the counter. So this is super cute. It's got cute little ties. You can take this out and throw it in the washing machine if it ever gets dirty. Look how nice and thick. Uh, this handle is. It is kind of a shabby, chic, rustic kind of a look. But I'm going to give you another alternative. If you don't like shabby, chic, if you like shine and glamour, I've got this basket, which is going to be for choice. It is metal. It's got a rope-like design. It's got stars. And can you see that the stars have a little sparkle on them? And here's the bottom of it. So this one is all metal. It is super heavy duty. You'll be using this one again and again and again. So if you like some metal and sparkle, go for this one. If you like country chic, go for the lavender with the liner. So looking for $5 starting beard. Okay, Jesse's in for five. And I really should have had this at $5 Friday. Actually, I think I had it out and I just didn't get to it. Oh, I thought Jesse was bidding. 
So two great baskets, whether you use them for Easter or just every day, totally different looks, but yet um, nice in their own way, kind of like people. Some people are girl next door and some people are a glamour girl, but both are pretty in their own ways. Okay, we are sold to Jessie. Let's see which one or one she picks. She might go for the country. She might go for the glamorous. She might go for both. She's going for metal. Okay, this one is gorgeous. You are going to love this one. Okay, anybody else? Okay, next, $3 for choice. I've got fragrances. Now, these fragrances are the small size fragrances, um, but they are all couture. So this first one is from Narciso Rodriguez, and it's called All of Me. So it's an eau de perfume. The next one is from Prada. It is Prada's new fragrance called Paradox, and it is intense. And once again, you'll see here it is. You know, back in the old days, they used to have perfume squirters in department stores where they just spritz you when you went by, or if you bought something they would give you these small sizes and it's become so different since the pandemic okay so we have prada and narciso rodriguez next we have flower bomb once again an eau du parfum Flower Balm by Victor Rolf. And you'll see it's in there. And once again, I will seal these up in a plastic baggie before sending them. And here's another Prada. This is a Prada for men. It's called Ocean. Because Prada makes both men and women's fragrances. Oh, she says, I'm going to spray paint it to match my bathroom. I love that. Okay, by Givenchy. We have Gentleman's Society. And this one opens up where you can see it. This would be great for Father's Day. So I'll put this one down here since it's another Gentleman's Fragrance. Pull back the camera. And here's another gentleman's one by Yves Saint Laurent. And there it is. Okay, so we'll see if anybody is interested in these couture fragrances. Jesse, I so wish you were on the Discord because I love when people show their upcycling. Um, I had a lady named Renee who has posted a bunch and she has repainted items. She has um, done a lot of farmhouse pieces with like roosters and cows. And it is amazing how she really um, took both wooden and metal items and made them her own with her painting skills. So therefore, if you uh, look at the look what I bought at auction, Renee especially has some amazing upcycles of decor. Oh, you did join. I'm so glad. If your name was different than your YouTube name, then I might not have even known you joined. Because some people will have a different name on YouTube than they have on Discord. Oh, she says, I'll definitely post when I get it done. 
Okay, last call on these designer couture fragrances by Givenchy, by Yves Saint Laurent, by Prada, and by Narciso Rodriguez. Okay, next $10 starting bid. I want to show you what I think is the most gorgeous cutting board set ever. Look at this beautiful striped bamboo. And for the $10 price, can you believe it's a two-piece set? I tell you, $10 would be a great price just for a striped cutting board. It would indeed. But this is actually a two-piece set. So charcuterie has become so incredibly popular. And this would be gorgeous to have one for charcuterie and then one for just cheese. Or one for your meats, one for your cheese. One for vegetables, one for fruit. And let me get my ruler out here so that you can see that the big one in the back is 12 inches and the one in the front is eight inches by six inches. So it's like a full size one and a half size one and all for $10. And let me give you a close up so you can see this is genuine striped bamboo and look at the gorgeous grains of the wood. Also, let me show you that it is, uh, it resists cut marks and it is great as a cutting board or a trivet or a serving tray. So you want to use this just to cut on? You can. I kind of think it's too pretty to use it just to cut on. But if you want to use it as a trivet for your hot pot, you can. I think it is so pretty that it is worthy of a um, serving tray of a charcuterie board. I absolutely do. So a $10 for a two-piece set. That's like $5 on cutting board for genuine wood. And not just any wood, but striped bamboo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, last call on this charcuterie board. Well, I've shown lots of kitchen items tonight, but one of the things I haven't shown, and this is going to be $2 starting bid, are some recipe cards. Recipe cards are a great gift because writing down that family recipe um, can be an amazing gift, whether it's something somebody asked for, whether it's it's one of their favorite foods that they want to try to make themselves. You're going to get a, and look how cute they, they are. So pretty little cupcake with some strawberries on it. It's got this gorgeous little border at the bottom and blank on the back. So $2 for a set of 20 recipe cards. I do have multiples of these. You could also give this with a little gift basket that has the ingredients in it. So it could be your recipe for that secret sauce. And in the basket, you could throw in some pasta and some of the herbs that they will need. Oh, you were so blessed to inherit so many usable items. Okay, last call on these recipe cards. 
I don't know if Casey's still here, but this might be something with Casey having her own cooking channel that her friends and family might want, or that she could write some of her recipes and have a giveaway and um, her viewers could compete uh, to win some of her recipes. Okay, we're going to pass on those. All right, next for the crafters. I have these wooden um, pieces. They're kind of a stick to them. They have these beautiful colors to them. Now, I'm not craftsy, so y'all don't ask me what to do or what to make with them. But you get purple, orange, green, blue, yellow, and red. So I'm going to start these at two bucks. I don't know what they are or how you use them, but you get a whole lot of them a whole lot of them. And I think they're pretty. I'm sure there are some fun crafts you could do with these. So looking for two bucks. And I do have multiples of these seads. I don't know if you make birdhouses or maybe you make some kind of coaster or trivet or I have no idea. I'm sure y'all can come up with something. You might could even use them to label some plants or some, some little seedlings. I don't rightly know. Okay, last call on these. Well, let's see. What else would y'all like to see tonight? We were just talking about redoing and upcycling things. I've got this um, kind of a wallpaper um, uh, type, and it looks like stone. Doesn't it look like stone? So I'm sure you could cover some things with it. Um, and it has a beautiful stone pattern. Um, in case anybody is interested in this. So I'm going to start this entire roll for $3. So whether you used it to decoupage some box or to line some tray or some shelves. Just to make something that is pretty, maybe you put this on some kind of cup so it's not just plain. So... And here's the company name. I don't know if it's a special name. It's got the instructions on it, but it's a really pretty pattern. I'm sure my mom was going to do something fun and creative to upcycle something. Okay, any interest? Okay. What else would y'all like to see tonight? Here is a pretty pair of earrings. Let's start these earrings at $3. They've got a post back to them. Pretty little pearl. 
with a dainty little bow at the top. I might have too much light on these. And you can see how they sparkle and shine. Small and elegant. Whether you're going to the office or church. Out to dinner. So $3 for this pair of pearl earrings with the sparkly bow on top, dainty and demure. Okay, we're going to pass on the earrings. Next, I've got some packets of stickers. And these stickers all have um, adhesive backs. So you just peel off the backing and stick them on, whether you're using them for scrapbooking or decoupage. This first packet is all about Paris. Paris, France. The next one has some cute little animals to it. There are 50 stickers in each package. We're going to start these at two bucks. The next one has these cute little records. Cute little records. I'm not sure who these characters are. Maybe some movie, maybe some video game. Um, they're characters somewhere. So these are packets of 60, 50 stickers with self-adhesive on the back. And if you like sparkly stone stickers, I'm also going to add Add these as a choice. Look how these sparkle and shine. They are gemstone stickers. This is what the back looks like. So looking for two bucks for choice. Jesse's in for two. Anybody want to go up to three? Okay, we are sold to Jessie. Let's see which she chooses. Uh, let me open these up and show them a little bit more. So we have Paris. Here's the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, here's the Eiffel Tower. Uh, more Eiffel Tower. Um, this one says uh, addicted to, to Paris. They're just all kinds of Paris um, landmarks. And... That's what they're about. And you got a huge stack of 50. Is this the one you want? 
I can open up any of the rest and show them to you if you want me to. So if you'd like to see the records or the cute little animals or the characters. Okay, she's going to go for three of them. The gems, the animals, and Paris, which they say Paris. Okay, great choices. Anybody else for the character that I don't know who it is? Lisa, if you could let me know or look this up, I'd appreciate that. And or the records. Anybody like oldies or a music theme? Be super cute if you were doing a scrapbook of your concerts or your favorite music. Okay. Next, who likes a plant? I've got these cute little plant stakes. You're going to get a whole, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to get ten. And I'm going to start these at five dollars for the whole ten pack. And let me show you how these work. Uh, you use them individually and you'll see they basically come flat, but you just open them up just like you have to arrange flowers and they open right up. But for packing, of course, I'm going to push them down and each one is different. Even these two that are both blue, you'll see the coloring is different. So we're going to start these out at $5 for the 10 pack, $5 for the 10 pack. And so here is the first bundle. Here is the second bundle, and you'll see these are different. Like, for instance, this one has a magenta and white. This one has an ombre of purple, pink, and orange. So even if you get both um, bouquets, there are different um, butterflies in each one. And this way you can put one, two, three in each of your pots, or you could make an arrangement out of them. You could add them to your garden so much that you could add them to. Let's see if I can get y'all a better angle on these. And even more realistic when you adjust them and you make them more 3D. Um, they look a little bit more flat right now just because um, they're folded in for shipping because I mail ordered these. I just thought they were so pretty in a catalog. So remember, you are getting an entire 10 pack. For $5, that means they are 50 cents each, 50 cents each. So I have a bunch of um, plants in my kitchen window. And what I do is I change out the plant stakes for every season. So for Christmas, I had some little snowmen in there for January. I changed it out to penguins. Right now, I have some cute little egg Um plant stakes in there. And then I also bought some of these for me. And these are going to be my uh, spring plant stakes in my orchids, in my African violets, in my little mini roses. And right now my orchids are in bloom and I've got the first bloom on my little mini rose. I'm so excited. Okay, so any interest on these, just looking for five bucks. And if anybody wants both, y'all know my policy, buy more, save more. So if anybody wants both, I will sell both for the joint price of $8. So you can buy more and save more. So $8 for both. Last call on these. Okay. 
Okay. This Buy More, Save More is also open for the people watching the replay. Okay, next I've got a beautiful trivet, a $6 starting bid. It says blessed. The outside is a bamboo wood. The inside is ceramic. So if you need a place to put that hot pot, here is a great place. And it says that you are both blessed to have it. You are blessed to have that food that you are cooling down there to fill your stomach. So lots of different ways in which you are blessed. Also a great gift item. So looking for $6. This is a one and done. Any interest in the trivet? Okay, we're going to pass on this. Next, $5 for choice. I've got these beautiful necklaces. Oops, I think you got too much light. There we go. And these have beautiful celestial themes because in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So the first one is this beautiful sun. And I love the sun's rays. And it shows how some of the rays are longer. Some are shorter. Some are textured. Some are not textured. Such a great representation of the sun. And then the moon, here we go. You know, so often when you see a moon, it's just a little sliver. But I love that this representation of the moon has the face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And look at the mane of beautiful uh, flames coming out of it. Because the moon does um, shine. It technically reflects light from the sun. So you can see those beautiful moonbeams shooting out from it. And then last but not least, we have the sun moon combo. And look how it looks like the moon is hugging the sun. How sweet is that? So $5 for choice, you have the sun option the moon option or the moon hugging the sun option. $5 for choice. Okay, any interest in these celestial necklaces? All right, let's swap it out with this super cute heart. I believe this is a rose quartz in the center. This is so dainty and feminine. I think this would be a great Mother's Day gift or a great gift to wear uh, on Easter or with those pastel colored um, outfits. It almost has kind of a blush tone, kind of a nude tone. So I really think this would go with almost everything. In fact, you might be able to see it better on the black mannequin. Let me um, try that instead because that tan one, um, oh yeah, you can see it better on the black mannequin. Now I do want to show you, this one has a lobster claw clasp. It has a long extender on it. Let's see if I can pull it up a little bit. And yes, really pops on that darker color, but just five bucks, Lisa. We're still at the five buck price. 
So a heart with a nice little rose quartz stone in the center. And I think this is going to be our last item of the night. It's getting a little late, and I see that our numbers are going down. Plus, I want everybody to get up rested for church in the morning and then to hightail it home because at noon we are going to have a premiere. And that premiere is going to be our third $1 buy it now. So if you enjoyed the $1 sales that we had tonight, imagine the fun of the $1 sales tomorrow at noon. And if you can't wait, if there are two previous episodes. You can watch either of the episodes from last Sunday or the Sunday before. There are many items still left, many items that were passed on, and any item of which I have duplicates or was passed, you can still order for the bargain price of just one dollar. So I can't wait to see everybody tomorrow at noon. I want to thank my moderators, Lisa M. Adventure and Maria Garcia. And I say, laissez bon temps, roulez.